when I tell y'all it's ghetto out here, it's ghetto out here. I would like to get to know if I could be what kind of girl that you could be for. Hey baby dolls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl Diamond Land, aka Diamond the Don. If you don't know, now you know. So in today's video, I got to film my first ever chit chat get ready with me and i'm just telling you guys where i've been these past 10 months what i've been up to and just give you guys a full on life update so if you guys are interested make sure you like comment and subscribe and keep on watching so i have been off of youtube for 10 months now um it just became 10 months i uploaded a video the other day if you guys have not seen that go ahead and check that out but i've been off of youtube for the past 10 months and girl i don't even know where to start like um there's some good bad and ugly like i don't know so let's let's just get into it so first off um i thought i wanted to make this video go in like chronological order of like the last time i've talked to you guys till now but literally we finished just hop all over the place i just want to let you guys into my life and just give y'all a little update so um let's go ahead and get into it i think i was off of youtube from july of 2022 until now um we are in may at the very end of may we're about to go into june first um my break from youtube wasn't like oh i'm just gonna take a break from youtube like that wasn't what it was gonna be just life life just started happening i went through um just a battle of just like finding myself and being okay with myself um and it all just didn't happen at once like it all just didn't happen overnight like things happened for me to lead up to this oh my gosh y'all this is my first time trying this eyebrow pencil um and it's literally the ulta brand and i'm obsessed this is the ulta beauty ultra slim brow pencil in the shade espresso and girl it's really doing it for me like i think i might like it better than my nyx literally literally i'm obsessed yeah during that time i was just like i felt like i was a little bit like lost and just like what diamond wanted and what i liked and just like the things that i was doing and i don't know the only thing the only person i feel like responsible for my happiness is me and i'm com completely happy now um i know i'm just proud of myself and i came so far from where i was last year so let's get into it um i went through a breakup and not let me not say that my relationship was the reason why I was sad because I wasn't I was in a very happy and healthy relationship um and to this day me and him are still cool but um I don't know we broke up we went separate ways um and I just think that was what was best for both of us in the space that we were in um I feel like we were in two different spaces and we just kept butting heads um when it came to just like us being around each other or like spending time together because we're both entrepreneurs and i just feel like um the things that i was doing dealing with um with my entrepreneurship and learning how to balance my like balance my work-life balance and all that, that those are things that he's already dealt with one thing about me y'all i don't like to listen to anybody so um yeah uh we bumped heads a lot and when we did spend that time together um i felt like he always just thought um that i didn't want to be around him and one thing about me baby if i don't want to do something i'm not gonna do it and that's just point blank period that was that um and of course there was other complications it just wasn't that but um it wasn't like it wasn't a bad breakup i don't even think the breakup is what like hurt my feelings because i feel like it was like a mutual thing um of course we both wanted to be in a relationship with each other but um it just it just that i don't i don't think that's what god had planned for neither one of us at that time um and 
I feel like I've learned so much more about myself because mind y'all I was in this relationship for five years so I literally went through like my whole I don't know like entering adulthood with him and I was like very um dependent on him um just like mentally um and everything that I needed for my business he was there he did it like y'all when I tell you this man did everything like for me um and I would not be where I am today without him so God does everything for a reason point blank period but um yeah I just I learned so much about myself just like without him and um became more dependent on me and I love that for me like I'm honestly <laughs> I'm over here cheesing but like y'all I'm honestly so happy um and like I said we're still cool to this day um I am not in my feelings about it anymore um and it wasn't I don't even like I was saying I don't even think it was the breakup that made me sad it was just like the thing said during the breakup um that probably like hurt me the worst and y'all this breakup went on for like a couple of months it wasn't just like we're breaking it up it went like to a break first and then it went to a breakup so um of course there is more that I can elaborate on but um I'm honestly not even like a person that just gets on the internet and tells my business um so this 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 is my first chit chat get ready with me and this is pretty big for me so yeah um my brows girl we gonna we're gonna we're still working on them but i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next steps after the breakup i just started focusing on me and the things that i like to do and you know just putting my all into my business um and i don't know i'm just so proud of myself land comes to me over there new idol ultra wear foundation you guys um i got to pick um two shades and i have tried this one this one matches more of my skin complexion this one is a little lighter it might be my winter color it might not be my winter color i do not know but yeah so this girl um is a 10 out of 10 it first of all this is my favorite foundation i believe you already know that this and the nars my honestly two favorite foundations um but when i tell y'all this right here is that girl is so lightweight um compared to the original um but it's still full coverage and uh obsessed like i said i was focusing on myself and my business um and my relationship with god of course and it wasn't just the breakup that made me focus um my direction um on god I wanted to be more intentional with my relationship with god um and uh I have been doing so and um I love it here I'm actually I keep saying I'm happy but y'all like I really am um I don't know God been showing out for me and in me doing that I've been I've been trying to make myself a better person um and facing my issues that I need to deal with for my friendships my next relationship um, myself my future children just my family I need I needed to be a better person um, and not saying that I was just a bad terrible woman but I did have issues that I would put off like I'll deal with that another day or just like not ready to face that hard reality like you know you have your issues too babe in this process though i i did learn that you need to give yourself grace like we're so hard on ourselves we're our biggest critics the same way that you can forgive that man for cheating on you the same way that you can forgive your friends for the messed up stuff that they do is the same way that you need to be real with yourself acknowledge what you've done um and then give yourself grace like we're all learning we tend to just brush over what we've done 
and uh, we need to stop doing that and we need to acknowledge our freaking issues okay okay um and so i've been doing that and i don't know i love it for me i love it for the people around me i feel like my relationships like with my friendships have been getting better I've just been happier with myself um with the way that i've the way that i process things the way that i handle things now god been showing out for me and i'm happy that i made myself deal with it and just learn myself more we just need to um deal with it it's it's that simple it's not simple it's hard but deal with it and i promise you'll be happy but also i got into the dating pool and when i tell y'all it's ghetto out here it's ghetto out here i recently just you know did my toe in it and when i tell y'all i don't i don't know what's wrong with these people but it's giving y'all need therapy um and it's not even that just like people are liars like of course you know everybody lies but people are liars like and it's and it's honestly for no apparent reason okay so let's give y'all let's let's get into it so i was talking to um of course a couple of people at once and it's not like i was talking to like five people i literally was casually dating i want to say two people at the same time and one was just i feel like one liked me a little too much to not know me yet and um the other one was just just girl you know okay so we're gonna start we're gonna call we're gonna call one what can we call him okay we're gonna call one john and we're gonna call the other one um child almost said the man's name we're gonna call we're gonna call one john and we're gonna call the other one give me a name 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 the michael i don't know <laughs> i don't know um so john was the one who liked me too much and he did not know me like that um and uh I don't know he was just okay so boom it started off very cool i started off like liking his pictures on like you know like a little story and then he shot his shot in my dms okay cool i've met him before we definitely went to high school together but i just feel like that's too much information i just feel like that is way too much information <laughs> but um yeah i was like okay he's he's cute he's cool you know let me let me see what he's about so uh we started texting talking going on like you know just like little dates or whatever um and it was very sweet um i started my cycle and he brought me some flowers very very sweet um uh one of our conversations was how i love flowers and he was like oh my gosh don't tell me that i'm flower boy i'm flower man um you gonna get flowers you gonna receive flowers right y'all why did i only receive flowers that one time that one time that's it and we went on probably like four or five dates and then one of those times was around a valentine's day and i just feel like you trying to bag me or not like bag me because ugh, i'm not ready for a relationship no but you trying to like be around me um you know we're dating we're casually dating um we're just hanging out and you're not bringing me no flowers what's wrong with you and baby i bought myself flowers me and my friends we buy each other flowers um and i just feel like you see the material so or like you see what i do for myself you need to be matching that same energy and going literally a little bit more um and it just it just wasn't it just wasn't given some of the things that he was saying i was just like okay you're doing too much like calm down um but yeah so that was john i think that was his name okay so demichael now demichael me and demichael were talking for we were texting talking casually dating for a couple of months y'all demichael demichael was ghetto um 
actually no let me not lie to y'all the michael was literally the sweetest thing at first um literally all my friends was like oh my gosh what he did what y'all are doing what the michael took me on all the dates the michael me and the michael was always hanging out um very smart man he was very cool very funny and i was just like like what's the like what's the issue with him like you know what's the what's what's you know like this is too good to be true everything is just running smooth and like i said um not looking for a relationship i'm literally just casually dating and i feel like those were the conversation i feel like that was the conversation that needed to be had between us two and so um i tried to bring it up and the michael started acting different like i literally told him like i don't expect anything from you like i'm just look I'm just here to vibe like I'm just vibing I like going on dates I like getting treated I like getting spoiled I like money being spent on me and DeMichael was spending money so you get what I'm saying DeMichael is tricking and <laughs> I'm not gonna call DeMichael a trick because DeMichael's not a trick but he was tricking um and uh I was just like, oh my gosh, like he's so sweet. Like, what's the issue? So, me and the Michael planned to go on a date, right? Um, and he's a busy man. Um, the Michael worked in tech. I really don't care if he sees this video. The Michael worked in tech. Um, and the Michael knew somebody that I knew, and so that's how we met. Honestly, wasn't even checking for the Michael. The Michael DM me. And, um, like I said, everything was cool, copacetic, he was tricking. So, me and Michael plan to go on a date. I'm sorry, I'm letting my concealer sit, so we're gonna finish talking while the concealer is sitting. But we plan to go on a date, and Michael was like, um, oh my gosh, I think I spread myself too thin. I forgot that I have to go to a family dinner, which he probably did go to. I was like, okay, that's cool, we can reschedule, like, I honestly don't. I don't care I wish that he would have communicated it sooner um because I was at the salon and I just you know it was just a lot going on but yeah Demichael he didn't communicate and that was red flag number one maybe number two I don't know so my friend invited me to her house and she was like all these people are gonna be here and I feel like I'm gonna be the only girl so pull up so me and my other best friend pulled up when we walk in the house, why did we see DeMichael sitting on a couch with another girl? And my friend was like, oh my gosh, no, that has to be his cousin. That Girl, no, that was not his cousin. Um, I knew from the way they were sitting too close to each other. Um, and honestly, y'all, I don't even care that he was with another girl. But like, why are you lying to me? Like, what are we lying for? Um... You're not my man. I I didn't I didn't really want him to be my man. Um cuz like I said, I didn't want a relationship. I was just there for the vibes, but what are we lying for? And that put a bad taste in my mouth because you have no reason to lie. Um and then he just was acting weird. And ever like every time I see him, he just be acting weird and I just don't know why like what I've realized in this time period is when people do you dirty or like when people feel like when people know that they did you wrong, they go distant from you. Like they don't, you know, they try to ignore you. And then if you gonna bring another girl to my best friend's house, please make sure she's a baddie. Like if you gonna bring somebody in front of me, make sure she's pretty like anyways whatever it is let it go move on Ten, ten thousand people out here okay and if you're like me and you're not even looking for nothing serious it shouldn't even bother you move on okay all right so yeah the dating pool is ghetto um and you know i thought i honestly just thought it was gonna be like all fun you know all shits and giggles and it's not it's not the stories though go crazy like the stories go crazy but it's ghetto out here but anyways it's cool right now we chilling right now um we just vibing 
we just vibing. The people that are in my life right now, like the people that I'm dealing with now, like they're they're just some vibes. They're all vibes. Everybody a vibe. We just be vibing. Um, I feel like the communication is there. Like this is what I'm looking for, um, or this is what I'm not looking for. I'm just chilling. So. Yeah, well, I've been gone. I released a podcast with my best friend. Um, it is called and That's What It Is Podcast. You can stream it on all streaming networks, uh, Apple Podcasts, uh, YouTube, and what's the other one? Spotify. You can stream it on those platforms. Um, and let me got, let me know if you guys like it. We had we did take a little break. Um, she's been focused with work. Um, and just uh moving up in her company or moving away from her company i don't know it's a lot going on over there but so we had to take a little breaky break but we will be back shortly we'll be back soon um but yeah if you guys haven't streamed that's what it is podcast go check it out um and we launched it when we were in italy for our birthday so my birthday is october 20th her, her birthday is october 24th and we went to italy and when i tell y'all that was the best trip i've ever been on i literally was going to vlog my italy trip but i took my camera and everything and when i got there i realized that i did not pack my camera charger and my camera was completely dead i'm sorry i that was like such an amazing trip we were literally there for seven full days seven full days i was in italy for a whole week we were in milan and we ended up um getting on the train and going to lake como when i tell y'all those are some beautiful places like i would literally go back i'm go first of all i'm going back but when i tell you i loved it there i loved it there the food 10 out of 10 the experience 10 out of 10 everything was really good the only thing that i probably had an issue with was um the hotel we stayed at um it was i believe a four star or a five star hotel um it was a really nice hotel um um it came the room had three beds in it um for all three of us we all had our own bed it was very nice the only thing was um their service was just i don't know like it wasn't it wasn't given what the hotel was rated i don't know i couldn't check in we couldn't check in to the hotel for a couple of hours they kept saying our room wasn't ready so that was annoying but other than that um the stay was amazing uh we were right we were probably like 10 minutes or less than away from um where the duomo is um and y'all it just it was a great trip and around that time um was when everybody was on tiktok talking about don't go to italy don't go to italy don't go to italy but i just feel like you have to create your own experiences and what might be um somebody else's experience may not be yours so many people kept telling us to cancel our trip and i just wasn't having that like they were just you know like i just feel like they were talking about the racism there um and i just feel like you experience racism everywhere you go especially being a black person a black man a black woman um you're gonna experience racism um you're gonna experience stares it's it's literally gonna be there um but gratefully thankfully we did not go through any of that um of course we got some stares um but not that many there were a lot we seen a lot of black people seen a lot of us seen a lot of us um all from different parts of the world um i don't know i just had a great time like we took a cooking class while we were there that was amazing um i learned how to make neo noki noki whatever i don't know how to say it um that was cool uh lake como was so beautiful it was such a great place the food there 10 out of 10 we went to some authentic um italian restaurants but we also went to um nobu in milan so good the vibe there is 10 out of 10 we went to stk in milan probably the best stk i've ever been to if you guys have any questions about italy um where to stay what to do 
let me know it was amazing literally you need to go back as soon as possible it wasn't even that expensive i think the most expensive thing that we paid for was the flights to get there um which honestly wasn't even bad i think we paid like 800 and something dollars round trip on delta yeah um and then the hotel was expensive but of course like we stayed there for seven days and you can probably find a cheaper airbnb um or even just a cheaper hotel i just know that we're very selective when it comes to um hotels or just stays or whatever so yeah but if you guys have any questions like i said let me know and yeah also good news i have a healthy and happy beautiful god daughter um, my best friend from college cheyenne gave birth to my goddaughter um in september of last year um and when i tell y'all she is the most perfect little thing she was the perfect little baby um the sweetest little thing you guys have probably seen her um her her mommy went viral on my hair page i just love that little bundle of joy so much and i'm just so grateful and um blessed that i'm her god mommy y'all have y'all tried the new juvia's place blushes when i tell y'all i'm so obsessed and i know i should have put this on before i put my setting powder on but mm -mm. look at that babe and then of course i'm just gonna go right on top of it with my juvia's place um volume four uh blush palette big go all I have left are big lashes. They come with, I believe, 20 or 25 lashes for the price of $10. They will be linked in my Amazon storefront. So make sure y'all cop these because when I tell you they are the truth, they are the truth. They are so freaking cute. They come with so many different styles. Um, I love them. My clients love them. Um, and they, they just last. I don't know, Abby. I've been making new friends, um, especially in my field of business which is the beauty field in atlanta y'all it's hard to make friends um especially when you don't have a certain amount of followers or um i don't know the girls are just weird the girls are just weird and um not all of them i've met some that are very sweet but a lot of the girls are just weird um they don't support um and they're just i don't know but i've also met some and a very like a very few that are literally the most genuine genuine people ever even if they have um a big following um they're literally sweethearts one of my friends that i have made is chachi y'all i love her to the death she is a makeup artist um and she does all the girlies um y'all need to check her out her name is chachi we met on set for an artist and um we have been like we've been linked okay and um it's just hard like i said to make friends um i just feel like it's first of all it's hard to make friends um as a girl also like being older i guess like i don't know in my 20s it's been hard to make friends and I, I, i'm grateful that i had the experience of making friends in college um and in high school because those like i have my forever friends but it's also just um cool to have people that you know that do the same things that you do or like like what you like and there's no competition there's no um you know like i think i'm better than her like i honestly feel like like me and chachi i don't know like i feel like i can learn from her she like she can learn from me um i support her she supports me and it's just an amazing feeling it's just been a genuine friendship and i don't know just like it's beyond just like the hair and makeup things like we literally talk about everything like real life stuff i don't know like i convinced to her she convinced to me and i just feel like i can trust her um and 
I don't know, it was just cool to be able to meet new people and just network with new people or just talk to new people. It's just amazing. And there's nothing wrong with the friends that I have now. I love them to death. Um, but it's also just cool to like branch out and meet new people, um, no matter how old you get and just be able to ha have a conversation with anybody. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you guys enough of an update about where I've been. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and I have so many good videos for you guys. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!